Cheers, okay. Uh, as I take a sip of this uh, uh, Pilsner beer I made about two or three months ago, I, I believe it's called my Mardi Gras Pilsner. Mm. Absolutely delicious. At any rate, today I get to break in my new Cooper's DIY kit. I just picked this up and uh, I'm going to make the beer that comes with the kit, which is the Cooper's Lager using Brew Enhancer 1. Um, so before I started this video, we, uh, we, we tested out the, um, uh, the, uh, the spigot and uh, all, it's all good to go. We cleaned it out, made sure everything's good. So you know, not much assembly required here, just pop in the uh, spigot and you're ready to go. So off to make the brew. So I've got my uh, hot water, and I'm, what I'm going to do here is, is pour it to about the 2 liter mark into the fermenter. Alright, looks uh, getting there. So we, we have approximately 2 liters of water. Now, I'm going to boil some more hot water while I'm doing that because I want to pour it into the can. Okay, so next step, pour it into sugars, brew enhancer one. Of dextrose, maltodextrin. Like that. Step after that, Cooper's Lager. Stir in the contents. After you've got it properly dissolved, then you want to add up to the 23 liter mark. All right, so what I'm going to do is when I have that hot water, I'm going to pour that into the can so I can get the remaining malt extract out of the can. All right. Okay, so I'm going to pour in the extra hot water into the can. Use my spoon, stir it around so I get the remaining part, the remaining residuals of the malt extract blended in and in the 
can to leave any good stuff behind. Make sure you use a tea towel on this. This is very hot water. And so there you go, all cleaned up. All right, then make sure everything's dissolved like, like I said before. So everything's properly dissolved and now I'm going to add water to the 23 liter mark. Ah, boy, got a big jug here. I was sitting in the fridge for a little while. However, you get your water. Um, you know, some people can... The important thing here is you need to get your, uh, your pitching temperature down to about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So, um, and, and you'll notice that the therm I mean, using your thermometer here that's on the uh, fermenter. Uh, so all I'm going to do is just dump this water in and then once I check the, the temperature uh, then I'll see whether I need to bring it down a little more or not. This, this water hasn't been in the fridge that long so I'm not sure whether it will bring it down to the temperature I need. Now it's using Celsius, so I'm looking to get around 20 Celsius, I think. Is that right? 23 maybe? 22? Anyway, pour all this in now. Okay, so now we have the temperature down to about 25 degrees, and what we'll do here is just take a hydrometer reading before we pitch the yeast. Uh, we get to break in our new hydrometer. So what I'll do is I'll gently fill up the hydrometer with some of the beer or wort. And our trusty new plastic hydrometer. Oops. And I will set that aside for a while. I'll take a reading. And I'm ready to add the yeast. So here we are. And you just need to sprinkle it on top. It'll get to get in and do its job. After that, we add the fermenter and Krausen collar, which are clipped together. All right, looks beautiful. What I'm going to do is, since it's a little warm, I'm going to put the, immerse this into an uh, ice bath to kind of keep my temperature around the 70 degree range. So before we go, uh, let me pour a beer and we'll drink to my new Cooper's DIY kit. Here we are. This is my traditional draft made with some Cascade hops. All right, a little foamy there. I just caged it last week. Gotta get it off the gas, but anyway. Cheers. I'll drink it later. Okay, so. Our hydrometer reading shows a reading of about 1.040, just right. So we'll keep you up to date. Hey, it's been six days since I first christened my new DIY brew kit, and today what I'm going to do is just simply uh, dry hop with some saws hops, approximately one ounce. Um, but I wanted to take off the Kreuzen collar, like is demonstrated in the Cooper's video. Um, you take the lid off, and you can simply see the Kreuzen collar here. 
and you see all the croissant on it, if you will. Um, and simply rinse that off and then you can throw it in the dishwasher. But right now here I have the uh, uh, <clears throat> the lid to put it back on and I could put these clamps on if I want I guess. No I can't, okay. So but right now then I'll dry hop with some of these saws hops that I picked up at my local homebrew supply store. And normally I use a muslin bag, but in this case I'm just going to try out laying the hops on top of the of the beer. Oh, but before I do that, maybe what I'll do is I'll take a hydrometer reading. Um, got this figure here. It's just Okay, and I'll let that sit while I do my dry hopping. And this is not even that difficult. Just uh, I'm just going to lay some of these in here on top, like so. Okay. What's that? That's probably sufficient. So, if we want to see what it looks like, and there, I'm just going to put the lid back on. Like so. Well done.